Let's let's talk about the late game last night. Arizona State and UCLA. Arizona State gets the win at forty two to twenty three. This was a bit of a beating. I mean, they outscored UCLA eighteen to nothing in the second half. And once we got out of halftime, they got that first goal. Like it was it was kind of never in doubt. Like it it felt like it felt like Arizona State had control of this game even before halftime. Like, they just look like the better team overall. I, I kept waiting for a mistake from Herm's bunch because they, they've been making them all year. They've been making stupid penalties and, and all kinds of things, and they were just the better football team. Yeah, they, they absolutely were the better football team. UCLA, made, made they're the ones that made the mistakes, and, and, and Arizona State didn't. Arizona State ran the football really well on this team. Uh, Jaden Daniels, 13 out of 19 for 286 yards passing, had two touchdowns, no interceptions. They ran the ball 33 times for 177 yards. That's five and a half a clip, uh, three touchdowns rushing. And UCLA was able to run some. They they got 200 yards on the ground, but it took 52 carries to get them there. 3.8 a clip, had one touchdown. DTR wasn't bad. Like, 21 out of 32, 235 yards, one touchdown. It, It was... It just seemed like overall Arizona State was able to get stops when they needed to. There was no like turnover advantage. The penalty yardage was insane. Eight eight penalties for UCLA for eighty nine yards. And Arizona State, this has been the bugaboo for them for a while. Six penalties for only fifty one yards. Like they kind of yeah. clean that up. And once you clean up those right. mistakes, you're tough to beat. You're tough to beat. Like this is a good football team. They're they're four and one. They lost to uh, BYU on the road, and you know now Arizona State. Yeah, you got you got Stanford weeknight game this week, and then you've got uh, at Utah, Washington State, USC. Like they could, it, Arizona State could lose to anybody, and they could beat anybody. But they looked sure. like a, a. I do think I do think that I do think they're one of the best two teams in the Pac-12. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.